Welcome. Welcome. To the, the celebrated, celebrated nightly news, news of, of Calaveras, Calaveras County. County. My name's John. And I'm Sarah. And we're joining you from high atop the Pinetree.net broadcasting studio in sunny Arnold, except it's not no, sunny. It's so and, sunny right now. And it's we're not really over high or... We're, no. Well... Second story, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome. This is our Thursday night um, weekend entertainment update edition, yes. edition where Absolutely. we get to tell you what's going on this weekend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the naive belief that you may actually listen. That's right. Right? There's a lot going on. And there is. Exciting. There is. There's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And start off with, I guess, the big news is for tomorrow is kind of homecoming day in Angels Camp. That's right. Start off with a parade, followed mm -hmm. by all kinds of festivities with the game, the home game against Linden tomorrow right. night, mm -hmm. which we will be broadcasting live. So mm -hmm. starting at 5.30 tomorrow night, we'll be pushing live from Bret Hart Stadium. That's right. Until whenever the festivities Until it's end. over. So yes. probably we'll be pushing uh, live from basically from Bret Hart Stadium until 10.30 tomorrow night. That's the block we have. So, And that will be shown on Channel 7 Channel as well. 7 as well as live mm -hmm. streamed on the web. That's right. So uh, two different ways. Two you different ways you can view it. <laughs> the Bret Hart Homecoming. Yes. And uh, do you have a schedule over there of the different activities? The following activities. Well, let's see. The following activities will be... Mm -hmm. uh, the parade starts off at, well, the, the Highway 49 downtown. downtown. Mm -hmm. The road will get blocked off at 115. Yes. The parade after a rally in the Utica Park afterwards, and I think mm -hmm. it just kind of continues on until midnight. Okay. Okay. And the floats, they actually, They float. They go they're going to float down, down 49, and, and then they're going to float go around the park, park later. Park. Yes, right? exactly. That's right. <laughs> They'll just They're be just going to float around. Floating. Yes, absolutely. Because each of the classes, obviously, they make a float. They float. For homecoming. Whatever floats. Their boat. Your their float. Boat, their boat. Their float. Whatever floats your float. Whatever float. floats your float. Yeah, your boat, anyway. Whatever. Right. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, so that's kind of the big the Angels news. Camp side of that's the... That's right. That's right. And there's actually... A little tidbit from Copperopolis at the yes. uh, Mark Twain St. Joseph's Clinic down there. They have a new practitioner, a new nurse practitioner, I should say. And there her we name go. is uh, Stephanie Pfeiffer. She's up in living color and behind you. She is. She's right there, right there. And she actually, in, in one venue or another, she has 16 years of experience in clinical care. Was she in Arnold? And she was seat? in Arnold. Oh, and, yeah. and those of you who actually have gone to the Arnold Clinic, may have remembered her. She actually worked with Dr. Kafuni and Dr. Schetzlein in Arnold for three years. So she said she's very pleased to be back in Calaveras County and working for Mark Twain again. Very cool. Yeah, so. And also a little bit of other county news today. Um, I guess the health department has issued a warning on ticks. On ticks, yes. So it must be tick season. Those pesky little... Is it ticks. tick season? Mm hmm. All right, here we go. It's here always is, tick season, isn't it? It is always tick season. Mm hmm. <clears throat> now, if you were ever thinking of what was the worst thing you could call somebody, something like a mosquito or a tick, you know, I mean, if you're really thinking about it, that would be a really a vile. I've never thought about that. I mean, you know, it's not a cuss word, but it is a four letter word. It's a four letter yes. bug. You tick. Has no resonance to it, John. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I, I mean, to tell you that. <laughs> you know, but if you were going to no call somebody to it, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's all these things that, but mm -hmm. I mean, ostensibly, this would be a much more of an insult, possibly. So that would be our new. It would be. It, it would be. We'll see if it, indicative that you're yeah, calling we'll under goes, somebody's skin. Yeah, let's yes. see if it um, joins the vernacular. Yes. Just say, just oh, see. tick. <laughs> A oh tick. well, okay. Now, what it is? What oh, what's is the it? story? Yes, oh, the story the... you say? Okay. Oh yes. The Calaveras County Public Health Department is advising residents to take steps to protect against tick bites. Mm -hmm. The health department has received reports of four cases of Lyme disease mm -hmm. in Calaveras County residents so far in 2007. Three of the four reported Lyme disease cases were in adult residents of West Point, mm -hmm. and one case occurred in, in Railroad Flat. So. 
Lyme disease, then it goes on to talk about Lyme disease as a bacterium that is spread by other people by deer ticks and swollen lymph nodes, muscle ache, joint pain, fever, headache, a painless rash may appear at the site of a tick bite. The rash may appear one to 30 days after the bite, after the bite and expands over one to two weeks, then uh -huh. disappears. The rash may look like a bullseye. Early symptoms can disappear without treatment, but infection will still be present. Late symptoms can occur weeks or months or years after being infected. Late symptoms include numbness, mm -hmm. burning feeling in arms and legs, weakness or twitching of the muscles in arms, eye or face, swelling and pain in joints. And so it's, what do they do if they have these uh, symptoms? Well, you want to catch them. You go quickly. to the public health harder department. To, they're harder to treat later, I believe. Okay. And they, let's see, um, check for attached ticks in her earlobes, underarms, breasts, belt line, groin, and behind knees. Okay. And if you, if you use tweezers or tissue to grab the ticks close to the body, pull it straight out, wash hands, put antiseptic on the bite. Do not burn, twist, or squish a tick. Okay. So, that's mm. the moral of the story. Do yeah, not... Tick warning. Do not... Burn, twist, or squish a tick. Yes, just pull it straight off the body. Should that? Should we move on to we something other? We should move other on. <laughs> <laughs> on. We should move on tick. to the fact that the community is already planning the relay for life for next year. Oh, tick. <laughs> and they will have their first meeting at the Angels Camp Firehouse on Highway Four at seven o'clock tonight, and it's the kickoff meeting tonight. La uh, they are setting a goal this year to have 50 teams actually 50 walk teams. in the Relay for Life and uh, a $200,000 monetary. That's amazing. It really is mm -hmm. amazing. It's now, um, this county, for those of you who don't know, the Relay for Life, this county is one of the most generous givers to basically, per capita, probably most charities, yes. but especially the Relay for Life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Especially. Especially. So if you're interested at all in getting involved, like I said, the kickoff meeting is tonight at 7 o'clock. And we have and, a late... Oops, oh, go ahead. And also, if you can't make it to tonight's meeting, they will have a meeting for the Relay of Life the third Thursday of every month to plan the event until it takes place next year. All right. Um, and on late-breaking news... Ooh where there were more cows in the road. CHP is reporting as we speak that there are cows in the roadway at Copper Cove Drive at Black Creek Drive. Mm -hmm. Keep your peepers open for those cows the on cows the loose. Cows on the loose. Cows on the loose. How many cows are there? It just says cows. Cows. Plural. Yeah, so we would assume it's more than one. But it doesn't say a herd. It doesn't say a so herd. It's so it's somewhere between more, more than, than one and, and a herd. herd. And what is the cutoff, the low cutoff point for a herd? What is it? I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. I thought since you were a, a cow rancher but guy I at one time. I don't know that. All right. You don't now, know that. Okay. the planning commission is on tonight, isn't it? That's right. It is on tonight. What's on the agenda? I don't know. You have it on your <laughs> side. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, I asked that just because Sarah is normally our normally. governmental and policy wonk. Typically, you know, that's her. Typically. That's her. But you have it up, so oh, pray tell okay. what All is right. on okay. the agenda tonight. Tonight at 7 p.m. at the County Government Center in the Board of Supervisors Chambers mm -hmm. is a planning commission meeting. Very nice. On the agenda, call to order and roll call. Agenda changes. They have a public comment period, consent yes. agenda, notice yes. of continuance. Um, public hearing. Public hearing on the parcel map for Furman Brown. Looks like lots of no plaza, plaza. Oh, they're small. Looks like fairly small stuff. Small stuff. Yeah, so. it looks like boundary line adjustments, mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff. So anyway. Nothing large. Doesn't look what appear to be anything large. Mm -mm. I think that stuff got pushed back. A lot of it did. A lot of it did. That's right. Now, did we ever show our viewers the heft of the saddleback? Yes, we did. The heft of the packet. It was that thick. That thick. That yeah. thick. All so right. that's why that. So there will be some exciting thick. things coming up mm -hmm. before the planning commission, also the board, mm -hmm. in subsequent weeks. But. Okay. So on to. 
The calendar? The calendar. The calendar? The calendar. Oh, all what right. What people are actually watching us for. Oh, for the entertainment <laughs> for edition. For the entertainment ah, section. Yes, okay, yes, all right. yes. Okay. Okay, we talked about homecoming. We did. That's right. And also, to let you know, at the Angels Camp Library, the children's artwork display from Mrs. Arola's kindergarten class is still on it's display. Still on. Mm -hmm. And the library hours are Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday from 10 to 2, and Wednesday and Thursday from 10 to 5. And that will be ongoing through the, out the end of October. All right. Here, I'm still okay. looking for something here real quick. Okay. And actually, this is a, a pretty big event, actually. 12 noon. On Friday, it's the Murphy's Diggins Craft Fair. Oh, that is a big event. It is. And it's actually going to be on Friday and Saturday, the 19th and 20th. Friday from 12 to 4. And sun, uh, Saturday from 9 to 4. And this is actually at the Murphy's Diggins Mobile Home Park. And it actually features home decor, artwork, homemade jams, sweets, and, and proceeds benefit the Murphy's Fi Fire Volunteer Department. Murphy's Volunteer Fire Department. But what's interesting is you can get a leg up on your Christmas shopping. Ah. And they have all sorts of little cool stuff there. So, Lots of diggings? Lots of diggings at Lots the diggings. Lots of diggings. Yes. And also, I uh, wanted to touch a little bit on Friday night. Is on This is on back on sports a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the games for tomorrow night, um, Linden will be at Bret Hart in Angels Camp mm -hmm. for the homecoming game. And also in Calaveras, it will be Argonaut at Calaveras, I believe, mm -hmm. now that I was just pulled it up and, and lost, lost it. it. Yes, Argonaut will be at Calaveras. <laughs> yes. So they will be both home games tomorrow night, Argonaut mm -hmm. at Calaveras, and we wish both teams good well. luck. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that was my other Friday night That was your piece. other Friday night yeah. piece. So I was ostensibly still working on, on Friday. Friday. Yeah. That's right. Calendaring business. Well, this is actually something that's taking place the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is the Wild and Scenic Environmental Film Festival on tour. It will be at the Black Bart Playhouse, I believe. and Presented it, by Patagonia. Presented by Patagonia. And it is a collection of environmental films, essentially. Very nice. And well, actually, making the world it's only a bit at the greener. Black Park Playhouse on October nineteenth. From then it's to going to Bear Valley, isn't it? It goes Saturday to at Columbia College from three to ten thirty, and Sunday it goes it's to Bear Valley Lodge. It's a veritable road show. That's right. At from three an to nine thirty. An environmental road show. Mm hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah. It is an environmental road show, actually. Are they burning greenhouse gases as they? I don't know. We'll say I bet they're using a Prius to move the the, the from one yeah the little I bet they're using cars. a hybrid to move it yes. from one but venue to the other. But what's interesting too, besides the fact that they're probably using yes. a hybrid, <laughs> is the fact that the filmmakers will be there to discuss the movies. Oh really? And that's Very always nice. interesting if you've ever gone to a film festival when the filmmakers come out and talk about the films because you sort of get a very different perspective. And you can you you recycle your it. electronics at the same time, that's right? That's right. That's right. Seating is limited, so advanced purchase is recommended. $15 per day in advance, $18 per day at the door, and $10 per day if you have a student ID. Wow. Yes. I don't have a student ID anymore. I don't either. Yeah. I don't think I ever did. <laughs> <laughs> also, Fresh Fridays is still going on in the park. Mm-hmm. So it's still, they're hanging on. Go buy some stuff. Utica Park. Mm -hmm. It's been a great run for the it uh, has it for has. Fresh Fridays this year. And a lot of people have been going and enjoying it. And there is also a community fundraiser for Alex White, mm -hmm. a Zulu Fest, a Zulu a Fest, Zulu Fest. Mm -hmm. an all community fundraiser held for Alex White, who was born deaf for medical uh, was born deaf. Mm -hmm. The fundraiser for medical expenses and continued therapy on mm -hmm. Friday, October nineteenth. This special event will be held from six to eight p.m. at Chapel in the Pines in Arnold. An authentic Zulu meal mm -hmm. will be prepared by a great local chef. The cost is $25 per person, $10 for children 6 to 12. Yes. Children under 6 are free, are free to the Zulu Fest. Mm -hmm. Call Margot Mon at 
1-800-795-0118 for more information or mm -hmm. Ruth Ann or Ruth Ann White mm -hmm. at 795-5509 or Judy Ortner okay. at 559 5474 for reservations. There will be Zulu Entertainment and a live auction. The live auction uh, items are very nice. Christmas cookies baked right yeah. in the kitchen by one of Arnold's best cooks. A baker's done a dozen of cinnamon rolls delivered to your door every month every for month. a year by a well-known wow. local baker. Beautiful handmade jacket by a local prize-winning seamstress and quilter. And a cord of wood delivered to your home. Alex, a two-year-old, was born mm -hmm. deaf to a missionary couple, Joe and uh, Sma White, living in South Africa. He, did, he had a colicare implant at Children's Hospital in Oakland, March of 2007. He has undergone extensive and successful speech and language therapy since then. Mm -hmm. A miracle. And he can hear now. This intense therapy must continue in South Africa for at least a year more. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's so, right. So, go Zulu it up. That's right. And also from 6.30 to 9.30, Legends Play, opening gala night. 6.30 for wine and appetizers before the 7.30 show. And this is at, where is this? <laughs> well, we don't know is this, either. <laughs> isn't, this over, is, is this the one? Um... Other performances are October 20th, 20th. I can tell you all about it except for where well, it we is. Well, we know it's a, pre, a 293 prefix. That's so. right. We're just confused. Yes, well, that's that's a general that's, yes, just a general, that's a general condition. Assessment. So exactly. let's just uh, let's see here. All right, we'll move on to the next one, and well, I will do one. research and find out, out where the where legends really play is. is. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, let me get to Saturday. And actually, there's some pretty cool things. I believe Saturday. it's Sutter Creek. Is it Sutter Creek? Because the numbers for Sam Sne or Amador County real estate for Sam Sneed. Wow, that is impressive, John. What? You know that by heart. Yeah. The power of Google. Wow. The power of Google. <laughs> wow, I am so impressed. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. photography exhibit at the Via Mia Antiques. Grown men 10 a.m. That's right. The photography at Debbie Capizano. And they'll be displayed from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a reception to follow from 5 to 7. Main Street Murphy's. Main Street Gar Gallery Murphy's. Photography. On to Saturday? Yes, photography. Are you a fan of photographic art? Yes, I am. There you go. The next one's for you. There we go. Friday? Are we on Saturday? What are we Saturday, doing? 10 a.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. Okay. Also, um, speaking of photographic arts ping-ponging around a bit. Today is going to be mm -hmm. closing day for voting on the tree, tree tube. Tree so tube. go to the pine tree and vote on your favorite photo because mm -hmm. they will win fabulous prizes. Well, actually, I think a meal. That's what they're going to win. But well, there's fabulous meals in our There are. Yeah. Okay. Uh, photography exhibit at... I just did BM, that one. You did that one already. <laughs> this Wildlands of Table Mountain Hike. Is that where I'm at? Oh, wow. I don't have that on mine. You don't have that one? No. Neener, neener, neener. Oh, there neener. we go. Okay, all right. Okay. okay. All right. The Wild Ones of Table Mountain Hike. Park Ranger Alex and Koyan will explore the natural history of the Table Mountain area, including its geologic formation and impacts from the gold rush. Okay, where do they meet? A variety of tree species... Animal tracks and signs will be identified along the way. Are you going on You the just hike? want to know where they meet, don't you? All right. Okay. At the trailhead. At the, the trailhead. At the end of Shell Road. This That's is a right. moderate, moderately strenuous two-hour hike and begins at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. For more information, call 209-536-9543. 9543, huh? Now this one, the next one is, is just up your alley. The Elephant Grape Stomp? No, the Job oh, Fair. The Job Fair. Okay, Bear Valley Mountain Resort is holding its Fall Job Fair in the Meadowmont Shopping Center near Bistro Espresso. Mm -hmm. So, if you want a good job over the winter, it's That's a lot right. of fun. They have a lot of fringe benefits as well as tangible ones there mm -hmm. for working in Bear Valley. Yeah. Skiing probably would be a fringe benefit. All right. If you like to ski, that's the place there to go. There we work. go. Okay. Learn about seasonal opportunities and 
meet department managers in person. Now, see this wild and scenic film festival. You could make the film festival. People. That's right. This one you can actually meet department Bear Valley heads. department heads. That, that takes a little while to wrap. They your may head be around. signing autographs. They so could be. if you go they up and be. ask for, and they may be worth something someday too. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you see, for example, the marketing manager mm -hmm. Rosie Sundell, go up That's and right. ask for an autograph. Just say, Rosie, John said to ask for, for your autograph. Yeah, John Hamilton. Yeah. John Hamilton. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eleven thirty. All right. Elephant grape stomp out at pause from eleven thirty to three p.m. So go out and see the elephant stomp some grapes. And this is a pretty shishi event, isn't it? I think it's a hundred bucks a person Apparently to watch them stomp. That's right. So you got to have elephant wallet to watch the. Yeah, I think so. Just kidding. All right. Okay. Elephant sized wallet. Elephant sized Let's clarify wallet. That. Yes. And in the continuation of the wild and scenic environmental film festival, mm -hmm. the road show goes on to Columbia College. That's right. All right. Also, 5 o'clock, Copperopolis Elementary School Steak and Shrimp Fest, which will benefit their education program from 5 to 10 p.m. Dancing, live music, and good food. Call 785-2236 for more info. And I'm sorry I don't have the price for you. And, and while we're on a seafood theme. Seafood theme, exactly. Now, there are events that are... You know that all the service clubs put on. Mm -hmm. Lions is big for their pancake breakfasts, That's and right. the Murphys does their shrimp, their shrimp feed, feed and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the smaller Rotary clubs actually puts on. It's kind of the granddaddy of, of the all sort of events of, of, of these the, types. Of these these types. These, these types of genre, events. Yes. This genre of event. The famed Arnold Rotary Lobster, Lobster Dinner, Dinner exactly um, is going on at Frogtown on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. um, they actually fly the lobster in from Maine. They do. They do. They do. Mm -hmm. It's coming up on Saturday, October 20th. Social hour begins at 6 p.m. and dinner at 7.30. Dance the night away to music of Bo and Kim until 11 p.m. There will be lots of food, fun, prizes, and an auction. The cost is $35 per person for a choice of lobster and tri-tip and $50 per person for... Just lobster. You can... Choose and mix and match all you want. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Right. Tickets are available at Middleton's, Dave Woodham's in Sonora, Meadowmont Pharmacy, Ace Hardware, and credit card holders can call 795 9693. And, and the there's still tickets sponsored. available. It's probably, this thing it's usually probably, sells usually out. They usually, sell usually they out may quickly. sell out of the, out of the uh, shrimp so you can maybe get some tri tip or yeah, something. But yeah. anyway. Okay. And at 6 p.m. Saturday night, artist reception at Harbinger, and it's a local artist, Nanette Class. Nanette Class. Mm -hmm. A solo show. A solo show and sale. It opens on Saturday, October 20th, and will be on display until She's going to be there 30th. well. Yes, Meet the will. artist. That's right. She'll be signing autographs as well? If you want her to, I imagine she would. I bet so. So, there you go. She'll be debuting her new body of intuitive works. Intuitive works. Intuitive. Okay. All right. Intuitive. Is that we moving on to Sunday? Sunday. Moving on up. What's, now, what show was that from? The Jeffersons, wasn't it? I don't know. I didn't watch it. And we have some birthdays coming up. That's right. On birthdays. Sunday. On Looks Sunday. Looks like it is All day. local Martha Stewart Jenny Esk, Baxter's Jenny birthday. Jenny Baxter's birthday That's is on, right, on Monday, Sunday. October oh, 21st. Oh, it's on Monday? Or, no, wait. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. October 21st. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jenny Baxter. Mm -hmm. That's and right. And also another... Um, Local resident, Kathy Gordon. That's right. It's her birthday, too. So yep. happy birthday, Jenny and Kathy. All right. And also the Wild and Scenic Film Festival Roadshow Still moves on, on up to Bear Valley. Bear Valley Lodge. And they will be taking all those films by a Prius. That's right. That's what we We're think. Guessing. We're guessing. We're guessing. We're guessing, those, guessing that. Although they'll be cozy in, in the back in, of a Prius as they... And green. Yes. They'll be like Kermit. Right. Green. Okay, 10 a.m., Extreme Cowboy event out there at Frogtown in Angel's Camp. And rain date will be October 27th if it rains out, October 21st if it doesn't. These this are, fundraiser helps provide scholarships. But, you can't, for, but if, it's, if they're extreme cowboys, they would laugh at rain. Yes, they would. 
Maybe they're not ex extreme. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Okay. It's the Calaveras Saddle Club that actually produces this event. And there you go. At 5.30, the 7th Joy Annual Viva. Joy de Vive Gala. Gala Benefits Sonora Regional Medical Center. Mm -hmm. And that is at Ironstone Vineyards in Murphy's. That's right. Benefit for the Cancer Patient Support Fund of Sonora Regional Medical Center. The fund enables cancer center staff to assist patients with financial C needs at a critical time in their lives. Mm -hmm. Okay. The gala is a black tie, black tie optional dinner, auction and presentation entertainment event. The cost is $150 per person. Sponsorship opportunities are available. and We've heard that several local businesses have been very generous. I know we know of one local winery that sponsored mm -hmm. eight eight attendees yes. so you know it's a very Absolutely. nice thing and um i do want to touch on are you done i'm done okay oh we hadn't talked about the, ar the autumn, autumn sidewalk, harvest sidewalk sale in downtown angels camp we skipped and right over we saturday skipped right, well we didn't skip over saturday we just didn't mention this this is actually 9 a.m to 5 p.m all of main street will be participating not just historic be, not just historic Great bargains, music, food, and special events. And that's it. All right. It'd be nice to walk up and down Main Street. Should we roll on to weather? We should roll Let's on to weather. Let's do it. Arnold, chance of rain, 50% of chance of rain tomorrow with a high of 57. Friday night, a 60% chance of rain tomorrow night with a low wow. of 39. Wow. Saturday, clears out mostly sunny, high of 54. Sunday, high of 65. Mm -hmm. Murphy's weather, Friday, 30% chance of rain, 68 degrees. Friday night, another 60% chance of rain. Saturday, mostly sunny at 62 degrees. And sun Sunday is actually very nice, sunny at 72 degrees. For our wonderful friends in Alpaveras County. Alpaveras. Alpaveras County. That's right. There we are. Um, Otherwise known as Bear, Bear Valley. Valley. Yes, up in Bear Valley. There will be a 50% chance of rain a Friday during the day and a 60% chance of rain and snow wow. on Friday night with a low of 31 degrees, a 20% chance of snow on Saturday with a high of 46, mm -hmm. and Saturday night it is blustery with a low of 29, blustery. Blustery. Angels Camp, Friday, 30% chance of rain, 66 degrees. Saturday, mostly sunny, 65 degrees, and Sunday, sunny with 73 degrees. And the pass is open. Mm -hmm. The pa Ebbets Pass has opened up again, so it's going now. We would assume if they get some more snow, it may, it close, may close intermittently. Again. But it's supposed to be up in the 80s again next week, so I think it's we're going to... get warm again. Yeah. yeah. So, Valley Springs, thir or Friday, 67 <coughs> degrees, very cloudy and blustery. Saturday, 66 degrees, and Sunday, 73 degrees. For our friends and viewers in Bangor, Maine, Bangor, we thank you for Maine. stopping by again. And your weather is 63 degrees uh, is a high today. 42 is a low, 64 a high tomorrow with the rain. A little bit of showers tomorrow with a low of 57, 63, 47. And on Sunday, a sunny 60 with a 45 degree low. Wow. So they're looking good. They're looking very good. Copperopolis, Thursday. 72 degrees, Friday 69 degrees, Saturday 67 degrees, and Sunday 74 degrees. We thank you very much for stopping by. We appreciate your visits. Mm -hmm. Whether you visit us on cable, on the web, or just, just stop by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we would sign autographs if somebody, not Want, that anybody's going to want them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. Yeah, guys. anyway. Uh, but, um, thank you very much. We appreciate the stop mm -hmm. by. You have a great weekend, and yes. we will see you back here on, on Monday. Monday. Yes. Good night. Good night.